Today we're going to talk about ethics as a limit and uh, potentially uh, to empower artificial intelligence. A recommendation from COVID-19, the insignificance of AI in identifying its ethical and equitable uh, participation during the pandemic and set forth some recommendations so that AI becomes a reliable tool, not only in the context of crisis, but also as an innovation tool. In this standpoint, from this standpoint, we can see throughout the world that there has been a generation of a great deal of data, not only during the pandemic, but it has been accumulated historically. Notwithstanding this, the pandemic, um, this has bring to the, uh, brought to the uh, social context, the uh, sector has limited the advancement that the regions have had throughout the world. Amongst the most important responses that we have had to solve is a management of uncertainties, which is artificial intelligence and big data. In the case of McCarthy, it is all the engineering and scientific processes that generate um, IT and contributes to understand human understanding. In this, from this standpoint, it has an important amount of uh, intelligence beyond the artificial aspect of it. Uh, in that which relates to room analysis of data, it is part of a debate to define the research and public policies, amongst which we currently underline and identify some mechanisms such as the epidemiological uh, characteristics that have taken place during the crisis to identify how many contagions there are in the different regions and how they're distributed and utilized for public policy implementation. Uh, to understand uh, and respond to specific requirements. Most of the models that have been developed have not had a transparency, uh, surveillance, or, or regulation of the uh, processes under which they are developed. This is why the main mediator of this debate that AI has had is ethics which becomes not only in a philosophical, traditional profile as it's been given to date, but to act simultaneously in the uh, involving in the uh, privacy of people. What does this mean? That it, the, we do not, the, it does not prioritize the adaptation to models of a, AI models. And on the other hand, it prioritizes as many of the problems given the social effects that pandemic has generated but also ethics that joins them and that the quick development under which it's being developed and on the other hand the pandemic and the different problems that have been developed and triggered uh, given the pandemic. These should not be uh, evaluated based on the proximity that identified the prediction of the data. It has to be evaluated very quickly in hand in hand with human rights and the development not only in the treatment of the technology, but also the processes and the information that's dealt with by the AI. That's why the World Health Organization has developed through different protocols, different recommendations to deal with AI based on ethic parameters. And in this research, we have complemented it thanks to the uh, cross section of uh, human rights and gender issues that should be the primary focus uh, not only of this pandemic, but also in the development of AI, which has a human component that is fundamental. One of them is the specific um, um, understanding of what AI and the implementation that's specific 
for society and not uh, responding to economic or uh, in income or uh, mega industry income. It is important that the privacy of data is one of the specific parameters, not only because AI has a strong digital um, profile, but also because the current reality and the technological and digital profile of the world is in. We must implement multidisciplinary groups that doesn't only respond to the AI uh, works in the academic world and the scientific world or in the health industry. It has to be broadened to philosophy, to humanities, to social sciences, to uh, legal structures, and also to all the topics related to the creation of uh, digital citizenships. Um, so we believe that the main agreement that has to be generated in uh, uh, artificial intelligence and ethics is a generation of agreement to respond to an open uh, government and also an artificial intelligence that is not only doesn't only have a component for uh, algorithmic development but also for human development thank you very much